The fundamental rule of proportions means that we have to cross multiply to solve them. This is a model of what a proportion looks like. It looks like a fraction, an equal sign, and another fraction. Proportions can be used to solve a lot of math problems, and they're very easy to solve as well, so long as we know how to cross multiply. Cross multiply means we multiply the top of one side by the bottom of the other, and write it like this, and then that's equal to the bottom of the first side times the top of the other. We write it like that. Let's do an example to illustrate it. Here we have a top of x, a bottom of 7, a top of 8, a bottom of 28. Top times bottom means x times 28. I'll write that as 28x. Bottom times top means 7 times 8. So I put equals and 7 times 8. Simplifying, I'll start by multiplying the 7 and the 8. And I get 56. Then, if I divide both sides by 28, I can cross out these. My x is isolated, and it's equal to 56 divided by 28, which is 2. We can verify that this is correct by plugging the 2 into the original proportion. So the fundamental rule of proportions simply means cross-multiply. Top times bottom equals bottom times top. Now let's look at some other examples. In this proportion, we actually have an algebraic expression in one of the positions, and we can still solve this.